You know, once again, let me encourage you to get the book on Jubilee yes. Blessing, get the certificate, get, get the teaching. We haven't even got to teach on the revelation of Jesus in the Passover. It's amazing oh, how many yes. people think of, of when, when Jesus had the Last Supper, yeah. that he just had a meal and said, I'm going to die. No, they were, they were eat, Jesus was eating Passover. Everything in Passover Amazing. connects us to the Messiah. Yes. Jesus was fully Jewish, never stopped being Jewish. Amen. Let me read out of the prophet uh, Amos just a portion of this on why God led us to build a grove of olive trees in Israel and God not, you know, in ancient Jewish wisdom, there's no word for coincidence. It's not a coincidence yeah. that during this time of Passover, during this time of first fruits, during this time of standing with Israel, the way we're standing with Israel is fulfillment of the prophet Amos's words. Wow. Listen to this in his own town. Listen wow. to this. On that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down repair its damages, I will raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom mm. and all the Gentiles who are called by my name. Yeah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the mm. reaper, this is the latter rain, yeah. the treader of grapes, him who sows seed, yeah. The mountains shall drip with sweet wine and all the hills shall flow with it. I will bring back the captives of my people, Israel. I shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. Mm. They shall plant vineyards or yes. in our case, groves and make wine from them. They shall also make gardens, eat the fruit of them. And I will plant them in the land and no longer shall they be pulled up from the land I've given them, says the Lord of hosts. Yes. The land that I have given the mm. children of Israel, the Jewish people, the land of Israel. Yes. This, we're always being a blessing to Israel as often as we can, but there has never been a more important time yeah. for you to sow your first fruits. Yeah. This is the Avos. This is, this is Passover, the Father, the blessing of Israel. People who don't see this, people who love God, people who are standing for God will never ever see the fullness 30, 60, 100 fold than those who stand right now in the year of mm. Jubilee and bring your first fruits. Wow. The Passover offering, Tiz, releases three blessings. Now, I say this all the time. God is God 24-7. Right. But the Bible says, call upon the Lord when he is near. Yeah. That means on these appointed times, yeah. With, without getting into all the teaching, God comes off the throne and he's closer to us than yes. any other time. You right. say it all the time. The sun shines in Texas here almost 365 right. days out of the year. But the sun, the power and the strength of that sun is different in August than it is in January. Yeah. It's the same sun, right. but the strength of it yes. is different. The Amen. same thing on appointed times. Yeah. In Passover, God releases an anointing that he doesn't release to this extent any other time of the year. The first one is amazing grace. Yes. Israel was in Egypt. They'd become like Egyptians, mm. but the grace of God came and brought them deliverance. Yeah. The second blessing that comes when you send your first fruit is a financial blessing, right. favor of God and man. That's right. why Malachi says we're cursed with a curse. We don't have the blessing of God and we don't have the blessing of man. Yeah. God brings the blessing. He's mm. Jehovah Jireh, our provider, but many times he brings it through people right. where people will come up and bless you and yes. open doors for you. Yeah. When Israel walked out of Egypt, they did not walk out bruised, busted, and disgusted. Yeah. They walked out with the, the people were going up to them and said, take yes. our silver, yeah. take our gold. Yes. That's the end time transfer Amen. of wealth for us right now. Yeah. It'll never happen to this mm. degree as it happens right now. And then the third thing is divine, divine protection. protection. God said, take the blood on, put it on the doorpost Amen. of your house. And when I see Ooh. the blood, I will stand. The word peshik mm. literally means not that God would cause to pass over, but God will stand in front of your home for you and your children, wow. and he will make the angel of death pass My over. Lord. We've seen this happen in our lives last month. Awesome. We just saw this, and we told the, the people in the last couple programs a bit of how 
your health had become an issue just out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. All of a sudden, all these blood clots showed up in your lungs, in your leg, and our doctor told us just one of those clots they call the widow maker yeah. because it's so serious. Not to go into all that, you can see that on the previous program, but honestly, Larry, my first thought today was thank God we planted our Passover offering last year. Last year. Amen. That it carried over into this year. And it's so real, never been so real to me ever yeah. as what we've just gone through. The health issues that you faced, how God did a miracle in our lives. And it also makes me think of what Rabbi Lappin said to you about your purpose in yeah. life. Tell yeah. the people well, about and that. Well, that's, that's what we realize is, is Romans 8, 20 says, all things work together for those who love God and are called according to his purpose yeah. or fulfilling the purpose in your life. Yes. Every one of us is a divine soul with a divine purpose. And one of our purposes is to be, receive the blessing of God and then to be a blessing, especially to the land of Israel. But when, when God spoke to him and said, because you stand with Israel, yeah. you're alive today. Yes. Because you're fulfilling your purpose. It reminded me of what Rabbi Lappin said. Rabbi Lappin was sitting across from me in my office one time, and he said, he looks at me and he said, you're Esther. And I said, is it these shirts? Because Tiz makes me wear them. She buys them for me. He said, you're the Jew that God has put between Jews and Gentiles, so together we can go into the promised land. Mm. And you think, when, when I realized, when, when all those doctors and all those specialists said, you shouldn't be alive, but for the grace and the miracle of God, you should not be alive. And, and I, we're not exaggerating. Uh, no, not they really. said, I didn't have this for that week. I probably had these blood clots for seven months yeah. and even went to the hospital and they sent me home. Yeah. We didn't know what it was. And it made me think about Rabbi Lappin saying, you're Esther yeah. for such a time as this. And you're Esther too. Yes. But what did yes. Mordecai say to Esther? Mm. If you don't do it, yeah. God will raise up another, but don't yeah. think you'll escape. Mm. And I believe that in my heart because we've taken a stand that wasn't po popular yeah. for 20 years of standing for Israel and standing for the Jewish yes. people and, and, and standing on the Jewish roots of the Bible. Mm. I'm alive today. If I'd have walked mm. away from that, if we walk away from that as a church mm. and are worried about what people will say, God will raise up another, but don't think we'll go, walk away yeah. unscathed. We'll walk yeah. away free. That's what Mordecai said to Esther. Yes. And Esther said, for such a time, mm. or Mordecai said to Esther, for such a time as this, there's never been, for your sake, a more important time to sow this first fruits. Mm. This is Passover. This is the Avos. This is Jubilee. This is the birthing of mm. everything you've been waiting for. And there's never been more important yeah. time for us to take a first fruit yes. to Israel, to plant yeah. the vineyard. And out of the vineyard or out of the olive trees will come the Messiah. Mm. And the oil from that will be used mm. by the Messiah in the tabernacle yes. of David. Guys, mm. I'm out of time. This is the appointed time for such a time as this, divine grace on your family, Amen. divine prosperity, the yes. wealth of the wicked. But you know what? None of that would matter if mm. I wasn't alive today yeah. for me. For I look at my kids and my mm. grandkids. And I look at Tiz. I look at my, my children. I look at the church and I look at the privilege of teaching you. And I say, thank you, Lord, that you taught me to stand with Israel and you taught me to give my first. We, we give our first fruit every year. Last year, I'm alive today because of that Passover offering and because of standing with yeah. Israel. I'm out of time. I'm past out of time. This is your appointed Amen. time. Do it yes. right now. I'm Larry. You. I'm Tiz. We love you guys. We'll see you next Bye -bye. week. Bye-bye.